our last video, we rewired this 242 and saved it from fire. Now we're going to do some stuff to my car. No ladies, no ladies. secondary fuel rail it's giving us a little bit of problems and well this turbo we got a trick to show you today about this thing we're gonna fix the symptom of the problem but we're gonna also fix the cause of the problem today we're gonna go through a process an eliminating process how to find the problems how to find the cause of problems so that you don't have the same problems in the future and keep on going the same places Repairing the same problems over and over. Nobody likes to repair the same problems over and over and over, right? That's the whole idea of upgrading. So today we're going to go over how to fix the problem we're having with the turbo for a budget guy like me, because I don't have a lot of cash, but I got a lot of expenses. The whole housing of the turbo and the center cartridge is moving from the exhaust. So one of these turbos isn't cheap to fix or to send off. And there's a big delay in time, shipping. And uh, so I decided to take it apart and see if I could fix it with a simple solution. And what do you know? I was able to. So without taking mine apart again and showing you how I did it, I'll show you what I did. Like this one. So you see the bolts that go around there on this section? These bolts hold this center section, this cartridge in, that holds this in. So if you loosen these bolts, then this whole center cartridge will spin along with this housing right here. And it will spin either way. The problem I was having was the center section kept loosening up somehow. And then it would keep turning even though these bolts were tight. And what had happened was it ran a groove in this little ring right here that comes off. So the easy solution was to take the bolts off, take the cartridge out, make sure that the wheel wasn't damaged, and take these moon rings and flip them and put them back on. And the other edge still had a smooth edge with no damage done to it. So it's like a new surface. And that fixed the issue of the spinning cartridge. But what caused the cartridge to spin and that was a different issue entirely. Safe to say, these Jaguar motor mounts have seen better days. I've been noticing in a lot of the videos that this turbo is moving on quite a bit in the hood on accelerating and decelerating. And because of that, well, these motor mounts are going to have to change. This one's just some rear suspension components that busted and aluminum collar around a bunch of rubber. This is the one that sees the heaviest traffic it tries to flex up. What do you think we need to do? We'll see. I switch you on the speaker phone. Play this song, just sing
I just taped these hockey pucks together. The first one's down there, just resting. I'm going to stick the other one down here, and then I'm going to lower the motor down. See if everything clears. See if I like it. But yeah, the mounts are out. <laughs> this was the Jaguar mount. It was straight at one time, but uh, yeah, no more. Let me show you what I did. Light here. I put everything up. Yeah. Whoa. Well, everything's going to be a pain in the neck because I have the camera on, so bear with me for a second. There's our motor mount with a big nut on it, big axle nut on top, with a bolt going through it with a nut on top. And then over here, we have two hockey pucks. And a washer below on the bottom, and then a big nut going through, or a big bolt going through with a nut on top. You may have noticed or not, these motor mount brackets are different than most Volvo motor mount brackets because they're for a standard 7 series Volvo. And standard 7 series Volvo motor mounts are a little bit stronger and designed a little bit different. So we're using those with our hockey pucks, both sides, uppers and lowers. suspension just a more solid chassis it feels like to me as you can see it's completely different interior from my older 9 series it makes funny noises Big tank in this one, huh? And new seven the world. Grab a can in store now. TSTV presents Better Together with Maria Menounos. Oh, we go. You're never too old to drink.
was going HMP. Uh -huh. Doughboy had. I've been out there. Is he this? had the the silver Volvo. Yeah, with the V8 in the mother, wagon. That motherfucker nailed. Yeah, that bitch moves awesome. for sure. He'd win every time on the line. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm trying to get this one at. I made 505 with it last year at the tire. Uh, 449 foot pound, but I just yeah. can't get it to hook up. So I finally put a Ford rear end in it from a, a Mercury. Uh, what the hell was that thing? It's a kind of SUV Mountaineer. Oh, okay. So it's got a Mercury Mountaineer rear end. Oh, wow. So hopefully this February, Cletus and Cars will be out at Baytown. And hopefully we'll get to stand the wheels up on this bitch. I heard that. Or break it. Usually I break it. It's hilarious. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm like, yeah. It looks pretty all right. Oh, yeah. Uh, it catches a lot of people sleeping. No, I heard that. Bikes don't think they have to downshift and shit on uh -huh. the highway and I'll rape them. Yep. Then the next time, you know, they're on it. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, shit. Never mind. Then you got a bunch of bullshit. Loud, but no, no yeah. movement. Yeah. Bunch well, of, I have a couple of those in my house too. Unfortunately, I work on cars. So. Well, I know, but I mean, there's all noise, oh, yeah. but no, yeah. they don't get it. Yeah, they don't. They don't move at all. As you can see in our test drive, the motor mounts did great. So good that I actually peeled the tape off. What I didn't want to show you was the less glamorous repair I did. You know this fuel rail? The bolts kept coming loose and rattling out of it. Because the motor was moving, it kept rubbing up against this and working itself loose. So, I put a bunch of hose clamps together and clamped it together and bolted it down and loctite it and did everything I could and it hadn't moved. God willing. Hi, Daisy. Daisy. Daisy Dog. Daisy Dog. Daisy Dog. Hi. Hi, Daisy. Thanks for stopping by. Did you subscribe and like? Did you hit that bell? Good girl. Good girl. Let me get you some merch. Yep. What do you think? Huh? Want some t-shirts? Some hats? We'll see you next week.